Hey everybody, Steve again. I uh, just thought I'd do an update on how I'm coming along. Uh, Strength-wise, legs getting stronger. Flexibility, I had my last uh, round with the in-home physio today. And on Friday, I had my assessment with the surgeon. So, I'm nowhere near where the surgeon wants me. And he brought up the subject of physically manipulating my leg to uh, break down the scar tissue. What that entails is going in the hospital, having them freeze my knee under a local, and then working it, like, literally grabbing it and working the knee joint loose till it bends past 90 degrees. It's 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 extremely painful, even though they freeze your knee. I've heard cases where people have felt it through the freezing. <clears throat> you definitely feel it after that freezing wears off. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to that. So, like I said, today was my last physio appointment. I'm at about eighty to eighty-two degrees right now. Flexion at the knee, so I can bend my knee to eighty-two degrees. <laughs> I start physio at the clinic up the road on the 7th, so they've got all the bells and whistles, you know, the ultrasound machine to break down the scar tissue, they've got um, the bike, they've got the EMS machine, all that good stuff, so we'll see how that goes, I think I get about 6 or 8 visits there. So, hopefully, that'll help out. So, I'm still nowhere near condition to go back to work, and I think I only have two weeks left on my uh, short term disability. I gotta see the doctor next week, too. No, I see the I see a physiotherapist on the 7th, yeah. And I see the doctor on the 8th. So. And I get the paperwork all sent out to uh, my insurance company for a short-term disability. These are just some of the things you end up dealing with when you go through this. So just keep in mind, if you going through this in the future, always keep in mind what you're going to have to go through. You know, if you end up in a case like mine where I didn't live in Burlington where the surgery was done, so I can't access that hospital's physiotherapy clinic. So they had to do mine in-home. That's why I only got six visits from an in-home therapist. And you don't get all the bells and whistles. That being said. You know. I do have my own private insurance, so if I have to, I'll try to figure something out. Because anyway, you slice it and dice it. By the end of June, I want to be able to walk unassisted. I mean, <laughs> I'm getting tired of this. As much of a help as it is, I'm getting tired of it. Man. And, to be quite honest, you know, I'm getting tired of swelling in my knee and the pain in my knee that it causes. I mean, this weekend, on Friday, yeah, Friday I really overdid things. You know, Friday, Friday I was out at the doctor's, well, I had to go to the fracture clinic. For my assessment on Friday. So I'll park in the parking garage of the hospital and then hoof it across the new wing and across the old wing of the hospital and then back out to my car. Then after I did that, I got home, I had to go to Walmart and do some grocery shopping. So I probably put over 
almost two kilometers on my leg that day just in walking and I found out I'm not ready for that kind of distance yet but you know what it's just egging me on to do more I'm not going to get defeated by it. I know I, I suffered from a lot of swelling this weekend from it. So when I was at my friend's daughter's birthday party, I was in hurt in shape. My leg was still swollen up. And, you know, it showed. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm, I'm not letting it stop me. If anything, that's going to push me to do more. So... Come hell or high water, by the time summer rolls around, I'm going to be back on my feet and hopefully back to work. Because, you know what, <laughs> as nice as it is being able to sit around the house and not have to go to work, it's also incredibly boring. <clears throat> I've had my mother coming over to help out and whatnot. But I'm the kind of guy who lives on his own for a reason. Because I like it. It doesn't mean I want to be alone all the time. I want to be able to go out and see my friends, you know, socialize. But when I want to have my me time and just be by myself around the house, I want to be able to do that too. You know, some people can relate to that. Some people can't. But I'm ready to... Uh, you know, have my castle be mine again, if you know what I mean. So, doesn't mean I don't like having some company from time to time. I do. I appreciate the fact my mom came to help me out. And I've told her, I say thank you all the time. But, you know, there are just some times when I, you know, when you get somebody here and they're here to help... And I try to keep that in mind. But there's times when she's here to help and I just want to be alone. Not so I can sulk, but just because I like peace and quiet. And If you know what it's like, if you understand, then you get it. If you don't understand, you won't get it. <laughs> it just comes off as sounding selfish, but it's just the way I am. I I, appre I appreciate the help that I was given, and but I also appreciate having my space to myself, if that clears it up. So, anyway, that pretty much updates everything, and uh, I'm hoping the weather's nice tomorrow, because I want to get outside. I want to go do something outside. I'm sick and tired of being cooped up inside. All right, so everybody take care. Steve out.